Hey, Jen McCaskill here. We are talking about custody. So what a lot of people don't realize is there are two parts to custody. There's legal custody, which is the decision-making power for the health and education and welfare of the children. The law actually says that there's a presumption of joint legal custody for parents, um, which means that you have to make the big decisions regarding your children together. That would mean if they should have their tonsils out, um, if, you know, where they go to daycare, where they go to school, if they're going to go to private school, if they're going to go to public school, um, if they're going to do extracurricular activities. Those are joint legal custody decisions. Again, the law says that there's a presumption that the parents are going to have joint legal custody of their children and have to make those decisions jointly. Unfortunately, when you have parents who just even after the divorce and even after the dust has settled and they still want to fight and mess with each other, it's usually around these decisions. So just because during your marriage, let's say mom always was the one that made all these decisions, now that you're divorced, mom and dad, mom has to include dad. She can't just make the decision and then unilaterally say, dad, here, you have to pay your share for the decision that I cut you out of. And that's regarding everything regarding your children. On the flip side, dad can't say, oh, I'm just going to say no to everything so I don't have to pay anything. It doesn't work that way either. I encourage everyone to make decisions jointly, put your shit aside, and do what's best for your children. The other part of custody is residential custody, and that goes according to your parenting time schedule. Um, now, when you have residential custody, residential custody means the parent that has the children on any given day. So if mom has the kids on Monday, she's making the decisions what they eat, where they go, what they do on Monday. If dad has the children on Tuesday, dad makes those what we term day-to-day -day decisions when he has the children. Um, so we've got joint legal custody, which is the decision-making power regarding the children's health, education, and welfare. And then we have residential custody, which goes according to the parenting time schedule. Um, so whenever the kids are with that parent, that parent makes the decisions for that day. That doesn't mean like mom has the kids on Monday, so I'm going to decide that they're going to go to... Um, Harvard instead of Rutgers because it was my day for parenting time. Yeah, that's not how it works. College is a joint legal custody decision. Residential custody decisions is just day-to-day -day decisions. So mom doesn't have to call dad and say, can I feed them hot dogs for dinner? What they eat is not a joint legal custody decision. That's a day-to-day -day decision. So those are the two prongs of custody. If you have any questions, as always, give me a call.